Cam. Good evening to you, Scott. It's good to see you. Good to um, see you. I, like many others, had a beer, sat down in front of the telly and watched the uh, England-Germany game and saw, in horror, Mr Lampard's goal disallowed. This system will hopefully prevent all that, and that's a good thing, isn't it? Uh, I think it's a good thing if it just stays to um, was it a goal or was it not a goal. My problem with goal line technology is that I don't see it ending there. And for me, and I think for English football, and world football for that matter, I think that's a problem. Okay, this is the thin end of a wedge you're saying. What would um, be the developments beyond this simple, straightforward system? I think that eventually what will happen is we'll see, you know, borderline penalty calls being debated, well not debated, but being decided upon by a replay, the slowing down of the game, um, did he tug his shirt? Did he die? Did he not? You know, it's something that I don't want to see included into the game. It's something that a lot of senior players and ranking officials like Michelle Platini don't want to see in the game. Okay, but that's all supposition, isn't it? I mean, we're talking about the system that's there, that's going to be introduced now, in and of itself. Is it a good idea? Um, I think that if it's, if it's just used for yes or no decisions, then I think, yes, it can potentially be a good idea. But my worry, like I've just said, is that it will not stay that way. It won't stay that way. Do you think that is, I don't know if you know, but why is UEFA still against it? Why is Michel Platini still against it? Is well, it for Michel, the same reasons? Well, Michel Platini is still against it because he's saying it's going to cost around £45 million pounds over five years to install it in 280 stadiums across Europe now. It doesn't sound like a lot of money, but I think that's money that could go into the development of grassroots football worldwide. And it's not just the money, it's also the fact that the game is the beautiful game, it's the game that we all love because it's the same rules for me and my friends playing in the park, and it's the same rules for Wayne Rooney and Cesc Fabregas and Lionel Messi. It's easy to pick up, there's no differences to any rules, and it's it flows, and we love that about it. And what about what we heard from that philosophical Frenchman, Mr. Wenger, at Arsenal. It's the only thing that's important is justice. He's got a point, hasn't he? I think he has got a point, but you want to talk about justice. You want to talk about, say, Everton going to Carlisle in the FA Cup, and Tony Hibbert has a header and it goes over the line, except it gets nicked out by the goalkeeper or something, and it doesn't get given. I mean, is that justice? It's not at all levels. I think that if it's going to be a success, it needs to be at all levels. And right now, it's only the Premier League. Sure. Scott Nichols, uh, joining us via webcam. It's good to talk to you. Thanks, Scott. Thank you.